ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corey Johnson, and welcome to Relationship Management. Today's topic is going to be about a man's worth. It's about time, huh? A man's worth. And the reason why I'm speaking on this topic is because a woman is not the only human beings that have a worth. A lot of ladies are selfish and they act like they are the only one that has or have or got a worth. They really do believe up in their heart, in their mind, and in their soul that they are the only people that matters up in this earth. A lot of ladies have this type of a personality about themselves. That it's all about me. You understand what I'm saying? It's all about me, myself, and I, my feelings. And a lot of ladies have a personality, the type of a personality, like, fuck who you are and fuck your feelings. It's about my feelings. It's about my worth only. Worth this, my worth that. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of them, they come up with this type of a personality when they have an attitude problem. And whenever a lady do that, you know, they forget who they are, who they really are, and where they really come from. A lot of these ladies act like they shit don't stink. I'm more than sure you have heard men say this. The reason why a man say that about you ladies because you have a sour personality. You know, you you have uh, ugly, nasty attitude and and your characteristics and, and mannerisms are very unprofessional. Very, you know, unprofessional in a way of being respectful. Because gentlemen, we need a woman that's professional, that has a professional attitude. You understand? To want to be respectful to you. You know, a woman's supposed to respect a man if a man is right. That's the only way a lady is supposed to respect a man. You know, but the thing is, you know, a lady don't respect our feelings, don't respect what we have to say. A lot of ladies, the type of a behavior they have towards us is, you talk too much, they want us to shut up. You know, exactly. That's the way a woman rather us to do, you know, because they wants to be the boss. You have a lot of female wrestlers that, that's saying they the man. They want people to call her a man. And they got some other lady wrestlers that say, I'm boss. See, they got lots of ladies out here in this world. They want to have the dick. And that's not right. A lot of women want to wear the pants in a relationship. They want to be the leader. They want to give a man the guidance. And, and that's backwards. You see, it's about them, them, them. You know, so, you know, a woman that's quick to say, my word, I know my word. Well, whenever you are right, gentlemen, and you are telling a woman, you need to stop doing this because you hurt our relationship. You need to change and tell me you're sorry. So then I will become a better person by stop cursing you. You know what I mean? Or hurting your feelings. And then if a woman, if you, if, if a woman come back and say, "Well, I know my worth," when they, if they get smart and come like that, the first thing need to come inside of your mind, gentlemen, is she's talking about her pussy. When a woman say, "I know my worth." That means she's telling you, I know my pussy. And if a woman comes to you like that ever again and say, I know my word, you want to know what you tell her? I want you to, um, before I give you the answer, I, w- I want you to, um, to cash at me $100. And I'm going to, um, give you the answer, the perfect answer. <laughs> no, seriously. 
when a woman come to you and tell you, I know my word, well, you want to know what you say? You say, I know your word too. And, and, and they gonna say, well, okay, what is it? Say, you bleed every month. And when you bleed, you know, you, you cramp, you stink. You know what I mean, down there? You know, and a lot of time your personality is sour. It's just like the funk of your pussy. You, you have a nasty attitude. You know, why do you have to smell like your pussy? Why do your attitude like the have to funk like your pussy? Why can't you act better? I know you bleed and that's normal, but do you have to act stink? I know you are stink and you smelly every month, but do you have to fucking act stink and smelly? Why can't you just have a respectful personality? I ain't telling you nothing wrong. I'm only telling you things that's going to benefit the relationship. You need to stop doing this because when you wear those type of a high shorts, I don't appreciate other men licking at your pussy. Do you want me to wind up getting into a fight? You can get me hurt. You know what I mean? These men out here, they don't care. They'll look at you right in front of my face and, and if I was to say say bro don't be looking at my woman that disrespect but he might put out a gun on a knife and hurt me why because of you you can get me hurt yep and I'm more than sure your boyfriend mama is scared too because you always dress like a hoochie coochie mama you know what I mean and men be always looking at your vagina yes a man got a dick. That's why he's gonna look at ya. You understand what I'm saying? And the only thing you know you about, you about is, is being disrespectful to yourself. Not just to your boyfriend. But to yourself too. You know, you you chemically imbalance up in your brain. A lot of you women out here have, a, have have an imbalance upstairs. You don't have all your marbles. You don't want nobody to tell you nothing. And you think you know it all. But a lot of you ladies, that's difficult. You really got shit for brains because you be fucking dead wrong. And you are the reason why your relationship never lasts long because you keep being disrespectful to your man you don't want to dress like you don't want to present yourself as a, a decent lady a man's worth that's clothes that you can dress proper you understand well it don't look like you trying to be a whore or a hooker or a slut your appearance always have to be seductive like you trying to make a man's dick get hard a man's worth Don't no man want a woman Going around seducing Other men A man's worth And don't no man Want other men Enjoying The looks of his woman's puss A man's worth You know Now worth is he wants a woman to be respectful to him so gentlemen it's time for you to start fighting back not with the knuckles but verbally a man's worth. you can speak verbally without even using vulgarity with a woman you say look I know my word too and if you're gonna keep being disrespectful to me I'm gonna you know Buy me some clothes, they got some jeans that make it look like my brick is poking out and I'm gonna show you how nasty these ladies are here and you're gonna see all these ladies looking at my prick and so they wanna have sex with me. A man's worth. I'm gonna have to show you, you know what I mean? Because you're not getting it. I'm trying to tell you to stop and you don't wanna stop. So it look like I'm gonna have to show you. You're talking about your word this. Well, I have a word too. And I'd rather to have a woman that's gonna be, you know, respectful to me. You know? A lot of ladies, they say, you know, they know they work. You wanna know what they mean whenever they say that? 
that mean that they can get any dick they want and they can get any man to pay them for that pussy. That's what they mean. So when they start hollering about they, they word, say, wait, look, I got a word too. And they got a lot of sisters out here that wouldn't mind having a three-way, three-way with me. And they got, they be like, three chicks hang out at a club and they would fuck a man in a heartbeat. Take turns on them. Take turns sucking them, take turns riding them and everything else. So you need to watch what you say because, you know, ladies, you can put yourself up in a trap. If, if you go to threatening your man talking about, well, then, a man's worth. How would you like if I go get another man and ask him for money? You say dumb shit like that, a man, don't get mad when your man come back at you and say, well, then, how would you like if I go to a club and let two white chicks suck my dick and my nuts and let them take turns fucking me? And riding this dick off until I come. How would you feel about that? And then a lady have a nerve to get angry and mad at their man whenever they come back at it like that. Well, don't get mad, ladies, because you start this shit. You need to think before you speak because if you come to your man like that, he's going to come back on you. If you say some dumb and silly to some dumb and silly shit to your man, he's going to say something dumb and shitty, shitty back to you. Man's worth. You know, you have to treat us the way you want to be treated. You, you, you have to remember that you are not the only one with the word. Um, ladies, men have a word too. We got a dick. You see, it's like you feel like you can easily, you know what I mean, go and find another boyfriend and fuck another man with well, then. You know, a, a man can find one girl, he can find two, three, four, five. A man can have ten different girlfriends. And he can be fucking two different girls every day. And then the next day, he fuck two more different girls. Why? Because he got ten. See, a man got more power than you. See, that's your, you, you, you feel like you have more power than us and you think that we are scared. Talk about your worth, this is your worth. That well, we got to work because they got lots of women out here that need Man's word. You understand what I'm saying? You're not the only one. You can look all nice. I mean, you, you, you look pretty. You're beautiful and fine. But guess what? There's ladies that think your man is fine and high too. And they know that your man got that dick. So you want to get stupid talking about, well, I can easily get another boyfriend. Well, guess what? A man can easily get 10 girlfriends. So whatever you do, a man can do better. So when you want to get stupid talking about your worth, well then we can um, show our worth. And, and if you have a, a woman like that, you have a right to go and have your fun. If she want to call herself trying to make you jealous and she don't want to stop making you jealous. And she acting like that. She's the only one that matters and she act like that. You don't matter. She don't respect your manhood. A woman want that type of control, a lot of times they would tell you no, that you can't have no pussy. You know, and they want to punish you and just put you on a fucking shelf. When a woman punish you like that, you have to punish her back. And that's going to be her karma. Straight up. You go to a bar and you get yourself some pussy. Because whenever you are in a relationship with a woman and she's depriving you from sex, you up in you up in jail. You, you're miserable. So whenever your woman tell you no, you can't have pussy, she just give you a get out of jail free card, and, and you go and leave, and you go find yourself another girlfriend. Free at last. Free at last. Free at last. And God is not going to punish you. And God is not going to hold you for adultery. He's not going to hold you for cheating. Because your woman or wife had no business depriving you from sex. First of all. She 
had no business punishing you. She had no business rejecting you. A man's word. Yeah. The wedding vow says that you're supposed to forsake all others. A man's word. But it also said up in the wedding vows that you promise to dedicate your love. For richer or for poor. And if and if a woman stop dedicating her pussy to you, well then you have a right to go and fuck somebody else. Because you're a human being. Jesus is not gonna punish you because you wanna know why? Because Jesus already died on the cross for our sins. Because he know that you can't do it like me. That's, that's exactly what Jesus said. You cannot do it like me. I, I'm able. I was able to resist temptations and be without sin. And without, you know. Jesus only had that power to be able to really resist temptation. But a man can't because we are human. So if your girlfriend, your significant other, if your woman or your wife neglect your sexual need, consider that as a get out of jail free card and you will get yourself some pussy. You be blessed. And that's gonna be good for her narrow hands. For punishing you that way. From fucking making you suffer. For making you miserable. For de- fucking depriving you from sex. Woman, you making a mistake. You don't ever in your life tell your man no he can't have no pussy. Because the minute you tell your man no, he's gonna go and get himself some pussy somewhere else. And nothing you're gonna fucking do about it. Fuck that. If your woman hurt you that way, I don't care if you have three or four women taking turns sucking your dick at the same time or fucking you. You go have your fun. And that's gonna be her karma because a woman need to understand that we gotta work and we gotta work. Sing it with me. We gotta work. We gotta work too. We gotta skip it. If you want respect from us women, you best to give us respect. Straight up. If you don't want no shit, don't fucking start no shit. It's like the song say. If you want us to treat you nice and sweet, don't have a shitty personality with us. Don't act all stuck up just because you pretty and beautiful. You think they give you the right to act like you Satan? We can pick up on your vibes and your energies. We can easily tell and be able to distinguish if you got a sweet personality or if you got a nasty attitude. A lot of beautiful ladies out here, they have evil fucking spirits up in them. And you can see it through their eyes. You can just feel that evil fucking spirit. It's like a ghost and you can just see that dark in your motherfucking heart. Even though you're pretty, you got beautiful eyes, and you got your camera to poke and you got ass, we can see your dark fucking energies and it's unclean. And the woman that have these type of dark vibes and energies about them, you have to be turned off. You got to shut it down, gentlemen. Don't give them no dick. Don't give them no attention. They don't deserve no good feelings. They don't deserve their pussy lick. They don't deserve to get no good dick up in their pussy. Mm-mm. Don't give them shit. No money. Don't fucking no fucking nothing. If they got a shitty ass attitude... And, and if she's a gold digger, don't bless her with no money. Don't give her no reason to get no fucking good dick. Because women love to come. That pussy be hot and boiling fucking wet. They need that dick. Very fucking bad. They need the money too, but they need that dick just as bad. And it's fun to them. Don't give them a reason to get your good dick. If they acting shitty, don't give them no money. Don't give them no dick. Don't give them a fucking thing. Because you know your work. It's like they say, they know they work well. We know their work, and we know our work. If they act like they got a shitty personality, they remind us that they bleed and they stink. You understand? Know 
Ladies, again, we know that you stink and you bleed, but you don't have to let your attitude stink like the funk of your pussy. You guys have a good day.